Hello there, Best Home Plans Harems is very proud to bring you the first look at the Dark Skies FX1. This has come out as a direct competitor to the Sega Homestar Planetariums and in the box you get the instruction manual, although it's very easy to operate so you probably won't need to look at that more than once. There's a wall plug, but if you're outside the US don't worry because this is actually charged via a USB type C cable so you can pretty much charge this anywhere and I say charge because this includes a battery, you don't have to leave it plugged in to a power outlet. Then the main event itself, the FX, it's a nice looking bit of kit, very reminiscent of maybe a droid out of Star Wars when I take a look at this with its fun funky little feet. Nice crisp clean black white colour scheme with a burst of orange colour on the bottom on the little feet. It's got a rotating top and a focus wheel and this can take several different types of discs so you're not stuck with just one you'll be able to purchase additional discs as they are made available there's some controls down the bottom for power rotation timer and that's where you can also charge it up in the dark skies family you've got the ds1 at the very expensive end the sky view at the stocking filler end and the fx sits very close to the sky view it's a lot more affordable than the dark skies one so i can see this appealing to a lot of people who want some of that miller engineering magic without the high price tag in use it's very easy to operate, you simply press the buttons on the bottom, make sure it's got some charge via the USB Type-C cable and make sure you're either pointing at the ceiling or you can point it at a wall. Once you power it on and you've got a disc in you'll need to check the focus is correct using that top focus ring. The discs come in these cartridges, you won't be able to use these with any other type of projector. My camera's not done an amazing job here of capturing it because there's actually 3.1 million stars being projected. So you can see that it looks good on the ceiling. It's nice and clear. The rotation is a fairly slow speed, so I'll speed it up here just so you can see how that works. The projector itself is silent. I haven't noticed it when it's on at all. It's very, very quiet, which means you could have this on and you'd very likely fall asleep to it. And that's why it's great that they've included a timer. This 3.1 million star disc doesn't let off a huge amount of light leak, so you can see the room's still pretty dark even though I've got it projecting all these stars onto my ceiling. Some of the other discs included are a bit brighter when you pop them in. There's a range available at launch. They come included with the storage case, so you simply take it out of the case and it's ready to pop straight into the projector. So here's an example of the difference in brightness this is a cloudy and moon projection so if you want to know what it's like living in Manchester this is the one for you nice cloudy sky with a moon visible there's also the option to take a look at the constellations overlaid on top of the 3.1 million stars to allow you to get your bearings and where, learn where they are in the night sky although you'd need a very clear sky in order to see so many stars when I look up I don't see anywhere near this much but I guess if you're out in the desert somewhere you might see the sky as it's truly meant to be seen. There's also a disc that adds a moon to the projection. And something I've never seen before is this clever ADM module, which you can see adds this little section over the projection disc, and that allows the stars to twinkle. Now it's quite difficult to capture on camera, so I've come in close and you can see them fading in and out just ever so slightly. It's a lot clearer in person and it's a very cool effect. I'm very impressed with the way they've done it. So if you want something where there's just that subtle in and out, twinkle, twinkle, little star type effect, then that's gonna be the disc for you. I checked in with the team to find out what their plans were for colored discs and what they thought of other manufacturers' versions. At this time, there are no color discs for the FX, only our chrome discs. So many of these China projectors include quite a few color discs. None are very good but the worst part is they fade quite quickly because of the high heat and UV. This is a major complaint in Amazon reviews. I will not sell colored discs for the FX until we have the problem solved. Our chrome discs will never fade. The other thing worth noting for the FX is the projected image of the night sky is a real image. I have bought all the major star projectors and Sega is the only other one that shows a real image of the night sky. I have not been able to recognize a single star or constellation in any of the other star projectors. At first glance they appear to be correct until you take a closer look. So there you have it, if you want a super realistic 
Star Projector, it's available now to purchase directly from darkskies.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Right now, you can get this at a special bundle release price. So you can either buy it on its own for $109.95, or the special release gets you the additional discs I've shown you, and that's currently $177.45. So you've got some additional details down here. It'll go through all the specs, it'll give you all the viewing angles, etc etc i hope you found this quick demo useful if you've got any questions let me know